All right, for this tutorial, we're going to be looking at some of the semantics of tags and how those work. Now you'll recall we've been talking about block tags and inline tags, and we looked at a few examples of, of those. And I wanna just quickly illustrate a few do's and don'ts of tags. Um, one of the easiest ways to remember how you can use tags is that inline tags can only contain other inline tags. And you can't have an inline tag that's a container of a block level tag. For example, you recall before I had a paragraph so I'll just do this up here, whoops. And one of the rules of XHTML actually over here is all tags must be lowercase. So don't ever do capitalized tags. So I'll say this is a paragraph and I'll close the paragraph and then I'll come into these words and I'll add that strong, which again is bolding the text. So um, here the paragraph is the parent tag because it contains this child tag of strong and this is semantic code because I would add strong I would add this emphasis to the words but the opposite is incorrect I can't do strong outside of the paragraph tags and have this bold the entire line it it actually will work I get a lot of students to say well it works but it's incorrect still so even though that entire paragraph is bold you can't have a block level element inside of an inline element. So in order to do this correctly, I would actually have to put the strong tag inside of the paragraph. And then visually it's gonna be the exact same, but now this code is semantically correct and it won't have any errors when you validate your web page. So you can kind of think of this logically, you're not, you're not bolding the paragraph, you're bold, bolding the text inside of the paragraph. And uh, same thing goes for header tags. A common mistake might be this. So let's show you this quick example. Um, this is the correct way to do it. A header one, this heading tag, close the header one. So let's save and refresh. So I have a header followed by a paragraph. And I see occasionally students will take this header one and they'll put it inside of a paragraph like this and refresh. Now you can see it looks the same. But again, this is incorrect. This is semantically incorrect because header heading tags are not inside of paragraphs. Rather, they precede the paragraph. So it's a heading, then a paragraph. So if you, do, if you can kind of just think of that logically, how would you do a Word document or how does a newspaper flow? Well, headings don't go inside of paragraphs. Paragraphs are inside of headings. And the same thing if I was going to do a paragraph and then I wanted to have a bulleted list like this after my paragraph, I would not take that bulleted list and paste it inside of the paragraph. This is incorrect. The paragraph, then the bulleted list, followed by another paragraph. So this is um, semantically correct. So just kind of think of that logically and you should uh, be okay. So that's the difference between those block and inline tags and how they should be used. And we want to look at just one more set of tags while we're in this video. And that's going to be the rest of the header tags. So I'm going to delete all of this code down all these different lists that we built. And there are six different heading tags. There's header one, there's header two, and then these go all the way through header six. So I'm just going to copy this and paste this a few more times. So I have six and I'll change all of these to H3, oops, H4, H5, and H6, and three, four, five, six. And then we'll save this and refresh the page. And you can kind of see how those lay out. There's the header one, two gets smaller, three smaller, all the way down to the heading six. So each of these headings gradually gets smaller. And headings work like a newspaper. The main section of the newspaper should be the header one. And if you have a sidebar column with a heading, that's gonna be a header two. Maybe you have tertiary headings which are gonna be header threes. So these should be um, used according to the semantics as well. So a heading that's less important would be used inside of a header three, where the main heading would be used for a header one, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. So those are the headings and a little bit about the semantics of, of uh, the difference between block and inline tags.